Aloha friends, I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick and easy recipe called baked sushi casserole. So easy, so simple to make. All you're going to do is gather up your ingredients. So I'm going to use a package of imitation crab meat. You could also use cooked salad shrimp or cooked fresh um, crab meat. And everything has to just be cooked and so um, it's also gonna have masago eggs but my kids don't like it so I'm not gonna add it onto this recipe but if you do like it just add like an ounce or two and it's gonna have about a half a cup of mayo half a cup of a uh, sour cream and then about two ounces of cream cheese and then I like to add green onions on mine about maybe one or two um, stalks of the green onion chop it and then it's going to also add, have the, the forikake, mix that all together with that. And I like to use um, freshly cooked rice uh, with my casserole. So I'm going to have freshly cooked rice and then with that freshly cooked rice, I'm going to add strips of um, seaweed. But I'm going to flavor it first with um, rice vinegar and I'm going to add the the recipe onto the description box so you basically just mix everything together you put it into your casserole dish and then you bake it uh, 375 degree temperature for about 20 to 25 minutes and then you're going to have a delicious um, meal of a sushi casserole so let's get started hi there's Danica <laughs> she's such a good girl um, if you guys don't watch our vlog this is Danica she's our youngest she's two and just mix it in there especially the cream cheese just make sure that you smoosh it down to um incorporate okay there it is and then what i'm going to do is i already sprinkled a little bit of the wasabi for ikake into the top of the rice and then I'm going to spread out the strips of nori that I cut. And you don't have to do this, but this is just how I do it for the family. I love nori. And then the rest of the nori I still have because once it's done, then you can use the nori and basically pick it up and then um, scoop it. And that's how, that's how we eat it. Okay. And then I'm also going to sprinkle some of the wasabi for kaki into the mixture and then plus the, the nori and then plus the for kaki onto the rice. That's it. I'm going to place that on top and then go ahead and lay it down as well. There we go. Just basically um, level it. And then this is going to go into a preheated oven 350 for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to put it at the top rack um, on broil for about five minutes just to brown the top. Now this is the part where you can also add your masago and just sprinkle, sprinkle that on top. I don't do that because of Danny, the nine-year-old. All right, friends, here it is straight out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and let it rest for about five ten minutes and then I'll cut into it nice and golden brown on the top all right it is nice and cooled about five minutes out of the oven I'm gonna cut into it and serve hubby dinner and so Alright friends, alright and then here's a nori wrapper, all you gotta do is grab some and eat it and enjoy. Mahalo friends, thank you for visiting A Simply Simple Life. What do you think? Good. Hubby? I think this one's better than the last time babe. <laughs> you called it, it bomb diggity. Constantly gets, it's just so good, I missed this. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Especially with the. Mm, look at that. Especially with the. Mm. 
wasabi, mm -hmm. nor 